Hey guys, Mr. Jaeger here, and welcome back to our little old Imperial Front. So, we're basically going to take the particular playthrough on a sort of slightly different direction. Don't forget, this isn't really a dedicated Let's Play. This is more of a, I'm going to play this mod because it's new, and we'll see how things go. And recently, they've updated a few things in the game, which kind of maybe done something to the actual game. Um, I don't know. And I don't quite trust it. Uh, but truth be told, I think we made a decent push of it on this area. Um, also, they've updated the unit sounds. Here's my duty to serve. That's awesome. Sir, yes, sir. What are your orders? We will serve. I like that. That's very awesome. That is, and I'm assuming it's the same. Yeah, so you can see they've made some immense improvements over the point, and I believe I've got Adeptus Astartes in here. I'm fairly, cons I'm fairly, con I'm fairly confident that we've got Adeptus Astartes in here. I'm, I'm going to say yes. Yes, we've got the Legionaries Astartes. So, um, yes. So basically, what we've got is sort of like a new updated form of the Imperial Forces. You know, let's turn that down because. Just make it a little easier. So, yes, basically we've got some new um, things going about. The mod has updated. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to start a new game. I will skip um, I will skip recording anything getting up to where we are at the moment. Um, and then when I've taken out all of India, then we can consider like having a bit of another playthrough before wrapping this thing up. Because as always, this particular, as always with mods, they update, they change. And truth be told, I think I'm actually kind of curious to see how this mod is going to go because basically some of the features they've li listed as they want to have in the future is the complete and total evaporation of all the oceans in the game so i'm very curious to see how that would work i'd like to see that because i think that would make the whole taking out india thing to be quite mm, a bit more challenging because once you've got india you've now got the oceans around well the former oceans around india plus invading territories no longer becomes a problem and naval combat kind of becomes a thing of the past so i'm kind of intrigued as to how they're going to handle this sort of thing um and i'm so and i know and as you know as a fourth what if 40k fan i'm also quite enthusiastic about what kind of things i got with that so without further ado uh, i will see you guys once i have gotten back to taking out all of india and we're back and the forces of the imperium have successfully taken over these rather perpetually annoying peoples so we have successfully secured the India's area and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to think about pushing west because I think we haven't gone west and I think it'll be a good opportunity to see what kind of uh, options we've got okay so well I'll put the six pack in there and then you I'll have you on the south end as well might as well concentrate our efforts right you I'm going to have you push up north that way. And the eight dudes, I'm going to have you push across this way. The six pack is I will do... Yeah, that kind of works. That should work, right? Sort of. Well, hopefully with the with the joining of the Imperial forces there, that will work out really well. So, what we're going to do... I'm sure we'll turn this down slightly. There we go. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to continue what we did before. But this time we're going to go to the left. And there have actually been some pretty ni noticeable differences. For example now, the date is correct, which I find hilarious. Um, we've also got... Obviously, as you, as you heard in the first part of the episode... You can hear them sort of, um, you can hear the soldiers. Even when you're selecting them in combat as well, they'll sort of go, For the Imperium of Man! Sort of thing, from like some of the Dawn of War quotes, which I'm very keen on. So, I'm liking this a lot. So, what I'm going to focus on right now is upgrading my ground forces combat capacity. Um, engineering, industry, yeah, we're going to need our industrial might. Um, especially this one. Wait, no, hang on, before I do though... Um, Maintenance company, 
four. Armor. You know what? Armor is probably a good idea considering. So, yeah, basically what we're going to do is once I've done a bit of our own research on that and uh, we push slightly with the new factories, whatever, we'll go west and then maybe try and grab uh, these guys, which are the Achaemenid uh, Empire, which if we can go slightly further west, that'll be brilliant. Uh, Gyptus, Eurotam, Republic, Siege. That doesn't say anything about these guys. Gyptus, New Aussie Stormate. Yeah, uh, there's nothing mentioning about that, are you? Hmm, fair play. Well, regardless, we've got no choice, but we're pushing east. There is the issue of the Asiac dust fields. They don't really like us at all, but they're currently at war with the um, young dynastic block, so it's not entirely surprising. But at the same time, we can go with that. So my main intention with this whole thing is I'm trying to sort of build up our economy, try and build up our infrastructure a bit, because it is somewhat lacking, unfortunately. All right, desperate up in now. Annoyingly, their repairing as well has not helped us out a little bit. Which is why we're going for the whole improved machine tools as well as the whole building up thing. Because I think if we can get that going for us, I think it will be a lot better. Um, as, as always, trying to build up an economy is the most important thing in the whole thing. Because otherwise we're going to be screwed. Also, yeah, it's they're kind of fucked up. But, you know, it's the war is actually fairly decent. Right, war well, radio is all good still about a year away so I will have you on uh, yeah screw it we might as well increase our equipment's capacity give our guys a chance once we get our own research what we'll do is I'll focus on building some more um, Right, brilliant, our own resources. I think the next one we should probably do is this next one, so we have the ability to do more fountains. Fountains? Yes, fountains, because that's all it's all about. Um, right, so now we can do this. We can choose to have material designer. Um, I th oh, wow, 50%. That's actually pretty dope. Um, question... What do I want to have? The ability to research infantry weapons faster, or have these things faster. Um, or artillery, to be honest with you. I mean, artillery is fairly good. Um, or do I want to go for something else? You know, whilst we're doing that, let's do that. Um, I'm thinking probably that. Yeah, captain of industry and other stuff. Actually, oh no, too late. Oh, well, it's fine. We're, when we, we're building military factories anyway, so it's fine. Um... Oh, speaking of which, more military factories. Huzzah. Right. Um, is there anything else I need to have? No. So I will increase power suit production. Because our biggest issue right now is that we do not have enough plaster steel. Which, once I've got the factories going, we're making some plaster steel mines. Because holy shit do we need these plaster steel. Um, even if it doesn't completely overwhelm our supply lines, at least it, we can get a full understanding of things. And also going into resource map mode. They don't really have much plasticine, but they do have oil, and they do eventually get more stuff, so it, it is quite awesome and important. You know, the issue at the moment is that supplies is just going to be a bit of an, uh, is forever going to be an issue. I mean, our population isn't doing too bad. Question, you have the center line, I mean, the population of what we've been doing. Yeah, to be honest with you, what I might do once we've done that is just have a quick poof um, through all these two weeks just so I can get all the benefits. Because as much as getting these things will help, this is going to help when it comes to things. For example, that. Extra factories plus also war support. Um, Bane war support. War support. So getting extra war support is going to be useful because it means our stuff gets done. Um, yes, 14 days is not long. Right, fighters upgraded now, which is good. Uh, bombers will go on in a second, but right now I think is more a more prudent option is to research. Um, uh, 
da, 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 da. Yeah, I'd say... What's that? 87 days. You know what? That first, because dispersed industry, and then maybe I can get another one of those. Because then that's going to give us extra factory, bomb out, uh, production output, dockyard output as well, which I think is going to be very good. Population, fantastic. Anything else? Welcome the new populations. Boom, there you go. Extra manpower, two pot. Gain extra war support, which is going to be very useful, and we get 4% to our increase, mon uh, increase to our manpower, uh, which I think is actually pretty dope. Um, once we've done that, we'll jump straight over to plasticine or mines, because then we can actually produce shit a little better, and then eventually we can consider going west. Right, brilliant. Okay, so next is plasticine or mines, because holy shit, mines of plasticine are so desperately needed. I bet it's still now. We're getting an extra increase to our supplies, which means people are going to be so happy. Uh, that's actually not a bad shout. Right. Uh, boom. Fight. Uh, yeah. Cool. Aircraft design now. Go with a light one, I'd say. Or a medium. Or is. Artillery logistics. Say Captain of Industry, so we can build that faster. You, Age of Strife tank, fantastic. Right, so we have to choose between going with heavy tanks, which will cost us a lot, but are fucking awesome, or we'll go with this. I will go with the Macarius because I think bigger tanks is going to be better. It costs more to make them, but if we can get them, their countering is going to be ridiculous. Also, oh shit. <laughs> the Pan Pacific have got Northern Edge to us now. I'm a little concerned. Are you going to hate us? You are not a big fan of us, I'll be honest with you. And it looks like you're going to beat the, win the war against Yuan as well, which is going to suck. Um, construction or advanced machine tools? You know what? Construction, having that will make life so much easier because then we can build up our own reserves. I may have to recruit some more troops at some point just so I can, you know, get what we need. Uh, get recon company as well. Cost a bit of manpower, so we are going to suffer a bit, but I think it's going to be fine. We just need to get more plaster steel and Arcotech. Yeah, so those two should be fine, and then we can go to the west. Just so that way we get something to try and counteract all their stuff. We can guild, um, maybe get some fuel silos coming in as well. And then a synthetic factory to be able to get fuel, uh, which will be useful. Um, synthetic shit will be useful as hell um, in terms of prat of that. Dispersed industry, fantastic. Right, boom. Dispersed industry. So that should hopefully utilize our 75% upgrades fairly quickly uh, without suffering too badly on the whole front line thing. So unfortunately, the Pan Pacific has once again done a pretty strong push. They get really powerful really quickly. I don't know why. Um, right, so how bad are we in resources? Just Archaeotech now we're lacking. Okay, well, it's lack of lack of supplies has bitten me in the ass more times than I can be care to imagine. Um, right, fantastic. So you've upgraded. You're still 155 days gone. Um, I think probably for you, researching Grand Blattle Plan would probably be useful, though truth be told I'd rather spend oh, it's a lot of days for something like that. But it is useful because it gives us the ability to attack better, even if it does take away some of our research. Um... Hmm, rubber probably more important. Also, rubber processing probably be useful because then it gets that. But nah, um, I'm synthetic oil experiments, which is where is that? I don't see that. 
I don't quite... Oh, it's a research, isn't it? Right, well, whichever's done. That's over here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right, that'll be something to jump onto at some point. But yeah. Uh, also, we've just gotten that back again, which is great. So now I need you to jump over to... I'd say... Hmm, I'd say attrition more than anything, because it we're in the mountains right now. Everyone seems to fall off a cliff sometimes, so I think having spare troops for that is going to make life so much easier. Um... You're all good. I suppose I should consider making tanks. Uh, but I'm going to wait until I get that sorted. And it's going to be a pain in the ass, But you know what? I don't care. Um, I love it. Uh, it's going to make infantry really bad. So how fast would a tank, heavy tank, go? Hey, Archaeotech. And look at that. No supply problems. Yay! <laughs> right, anyway. Um... Heavy tank will probably go really slow, won't it? Um, mobility. Where's your meter? How fast are you? Defense. Fuel. Fuel usage, 4.4. That's not great, so I'll be honest with you, but it's fine. Uh, but hey, it's unfortunately a B1. Uh, question. Please tell me you upgrade at all. No, you... Are you... Come on, Beyblade. You know, I'm looking forward to when they import, like, custom uh, unit types. Oh, I suppose that's slightly better. Land Raider. I mean, I would classify this as a heavy tank rather than a medium tank. But, okay. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's what we've got to deal with. It's, it's how it's going to be. Right, so we can now go west. Fantastic. Um... Oh, you... No, you're still... Do I get a chance? Wait, so you are the Academy of Air Empire, right? Uratal Caucasus, right. So I'm going to assume you're... Yeah, so I still kind of need to have a go at you. And you've got like 21 divisions. Admittedly, you're not fully strength and all you've got is those. I've got motherfucking Adeptus Astartes. Um... Well, new Adeptus for starters, right? Construction, factory output, or extra experience and research speed. New designs. Oh, boy. I mean, I'd say that would probably be the best option. Beto. <sighs> I'd say fighters, just because then we can do that. Right, have you... Wait, so you, you've just... Oh, one more day. Okay, fantastic. Uh, right, so you've done that. So now I think the option should be next to uh, jump onto you. Right, so now you can build a tank. Fairly expensive, I'll be honest with you, but worth every penny. Um, you're going to be on the slow side, but that's fine. We don't need many of those things. Right, so if I was to make... Um, these guys turn into heavy tanks, we'd still be rolling around at like four miles, uh, four kilometers per hour if I removed those infantry. Oh. Five kilometers. So there isn't really that much of a problem with having infantry. Right, reset. So, yeah, I'd say um, it's worth replacing the heavy tanks, or the light tanks with, um, yeah, that works. And then just get an engineer and recon company to support that. And boom. So now we've got a proper armored division. Do we have any options to... Uh... I'd say... Imperialis Equitum. There we go. So, 12... I have an option for better... Oh, there we go. Right, okay. So we've still got the awesome icons as well, which is fantastic. Right, so infantry only, uh, which is like 12. I might increase that to, to 18 at some point. Well, uh, I think just that, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's going to increase. We are going to suffer a manpower issue, but it's worth it. Um, yeah, that seems okay. Change the icon uh, to that, I'd say. Yeah, that, that works. Awesome. Um, 
Yeah, and that'll do. I'll do lovely. Right, so you need to increase additional spirit armor upgrades, heavy tank, extra armor. Ooh! Yeah, sure, why not? Right, so now we need to increase your... Fortunately, we are beginning to run low on bloody supplies again, because fun times! Right. I think we are in a position where we can start training up some troops. Maybe not by a lot, but by some. Right, there we go. See? Somehow we were able to do that. So five extra divisions will be trained. Uh, how many divisions have I got? 24. So... Right, so what we'll do is we'll try and um, justify war on these guys. Um, and then... What we'll have to do, probably, is somehow find a way of na- oh, they're probably gonna have naval invasions, aren't they? Because they've got ships, haven't they? Have they got ships? No, but they've got a fuckload of aircraft. Hmm. I mean, they haven't got a lot of troops on the ground, but their naval forces aren't exactly great. So maybe, if Emperor willing, I have a chance of being able to destroy them. Um, we ha- we can hopefully improve our chances of victory by- at least doing that. How long will this take to train? 6th of May. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I don't want to spend too much resources building because it's going to take a while to actually train them up. And upgrading our forces is going to make life so much easier. Uh, recovery rate. Right. The special forces aren't going to do anything. Whereas these guys are. Uh, uh, increase in combat effect with this three. Ooh, yes, custodies. That'll be useful as well. 70 days of them doing that will be useful. Updated production. Uh, Mark 2, power armor, huzzah. We're just going to struggle with that now. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, anyway. Uh, how are we doing on politics? We're doing fine. We are no, never having to worry about that. Right, so now we have to think about... God, it's actually quite difficult. Well, to be honest with you, we'll do this at least. Getting extra reliability and research speed is going to make life so much easier. Um, but yeah, so if we get that, 70 days, we'll get 8 divisions. 3 of which are going to be absolute ballers. Um, which will be very, very useful. Especially since we'll then start our... Right, you know what, let's justify the war goals. Actually, before we do anything else, let's slow down save, because obviously we haven't saved in a while, and then holy terror if war goes to shit <laughs> right, now that we've got a point before I start rattling the cage uh, I'd say Kabul yeah, Kabul, just, just, just boom, okay, how long will this take me to get? 27th of May, so just when my guys have just arrived, because they, they arrive on, like, what? The 6th of May, yeah. So, like, after a few bits afterwards. The, yeah, exactly. Right, apparently we've got some kind of timeout. Nope, it's fine. Right, what's this? What are we running out on? We are running out on, once again, Plastasteel, Archeotech, and all the other shit in the background, because why not? Um, once we get the Legio Custodes, though, that'll be useful as fuck. Okay, so these guys are now slightly better on that, which is great. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm. Right, we'll get the computing machine up there next. I mean, going for a dare doctrine wouldn't be a bad idea, I'll be honest with you, but I think given the fact that, um... Lol. Um, given the fact that... Right, let's get some resources now. Mitigate some of this disaster. I say disaster. Um, that's going to be very useful, actually, to be honest with you. Um, having the tier 3 already at, like, I 29,792. Ah, oh, brilliant. I think I've just heard someone arrived. Already? Huh, okay. DJ Custodies, motherfucker! Right, where are they? Where they be at? Reporting for duty, sir. 
Nice. Okay, awesome. I can... Are you also there? Right, cool. You... Uh, you guys actually will form up and join up with you guys. Because I think it's only fair. Where? Where's the third one? Right, uh, yes. So custodies are going to go there and give you guys some very much needed backup. Uh, Earthshakers, that would be useful. But I think probably that as well. So, we're not probably going to get this option. Right, dispersed in industry. Um... I'm feeling cheeky. We're going to do it like so. Actually, before we do anything else, should I look at that? No, it's fine. Let's get these excavations done, so that way, instantly, we can get some benefits from this. And then... Yep. So they're going to get it in 70 days. We're probably going to get it a little bit sooner. It's fine. Extra division attack as we're improving. Suddenly, like, they were like, oh, we'll get them. Well, that's a point. You guys already planned and shit, right? Well, for those of you who haven't, welcome to the front. And it looks like our dear old battalion friends have arrived just on the scene. Bomb. Bomb. Bom. Right, fantastic. Right, so you guys, I want you serving in this battalion, forming up and making ready for war. And once you arrive on the front line, uh, depending on how quickly you guys arrive, I will start enacting staff of this plan so that you guys are ready and willing to fight alongside. And then eventually what I'll do, once I have enough tanks, because we're lacking in tanks at the moment. Age of Strife Fighters. Right, you fight here. You bomb, I should know, bomb that shit. Strategic. Right, I'd say time is to go to war. Ba boom, bitch. One, two, three. Sha boom! And in about, like, a few days, we're going to increase our damage. And the main aim for this northern army is to basically punch all its way up towards here. Right. You. Chief of Air Force. Actually, no. I should have done, I should have done the all-weather expert, which makes my life a lot easier because... Yeah. Yeah, so you guys are fighting your way up there. That division is going to go bye-bye. So, we have roughly... 32, the enemy has 11 to 29. So, in between that, not too much, which is great. We suffer, um, ish. Yeah, there we go. So, not only that, we're actually stronger as well. Um, so, I would say. I'd say the next thing we should do is probably get some of these. Or should I get more resources? You know what? Let's get more resources. Um,. We're getting more factories by taking territory. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys keep on pushing, keep on fighting the glorious fight like you mad dogs are. Okay, we're apparently running out of things to build, apparently. GG. Um, holy shit, you're right. Let's increase our defenses uh, along the northern perimeter. So, up here, I would say it's worth building some defenses. Everywhere that isn't us, we need to defend it. There you go. That will give me something to build in the meantime. It seems pointless, but, you know, it's it's there. Right. Also, Grand Battle Plan. Great. Would have loved you if you were there earlier. But you know what? It's all right. Um, go back to engineering. You're still doing that. You're still on that. Um, you know what? Conversion factors. That will probably be fairly useful once we start getting more technology. Um, makes my life a little easier. This music is actually quite fitting as well. So our forces are slowly but surely pushing up, taking more and more territory. The main aim of the 
initial push is to try and grab a shitload of terrain here, um, then these guys... Nice. Um... There you go. Awesome. Um, so yeah, basically the intent is to try and push these guys to roughly this choke point here. Then once these guys are holding up, um, blue se blue section is going to move up towards... Well, Armour Group Center is going to move up towards here, nab this sector, and uh, Custodes Augmenta are going to basically go over to here and destroy that shit. So by the time the other guys are going to be hopefully in position, won't be too bad. But again, it's kind of awkward because, you know... Right, is there any air? It, wow. Okay, is there any air? Is there any aircraft? Right, what have you got? That's great. Uh, right, you, because we'll go for that. Right, we got resistance to invaders, but that's not entirely surprising. Is there any air forces nearby? No, you have not done anything with air forces. But that's not bad, because it means we don't have to worry about them gaining air supremacy. At least, in the areas that matter. Only problem is, I'm operating, like, about slightly further ahead. And not all of the air... Oh, hang on. Have we just taken that? No, but that'll be an air fort we're going to go for. Uh, more factories, I'd say. Actually, wait, before I do anything else, is there anything else I should contemplate on? Uh, yeah, screw it. I don't know what it is about these particular German songs. I just love them. It's rather odd. Right, you guys keep pushing. And I'll support the other guys as they come along. Ah! Curses. Right, are you all kind of secure in that march? Good. Right, I need you to stop doing that. Because we need you to push up north here. Double time it. It's going to suck. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Army Groups 3. But yeah, I'm, I need them to do more important things right now. It's so that we can c win this war uh, faster. <laughs> is literally all I can say on the matter. Is right now, let's say artillery. Just because I think we haven't done anything with artillery. We're ready to go, son. Right, so if you guys make your way up to the north, then hopefully we can begin to end the war. Uh, just attack in whatever way you can. Right, you boys, start decrypting, because I want to see what the enemy looks like. I mean, at this point, the enemy have probably got no kind of troops or anything along those lines anyway, but I'd rather have the whole front lines holding. Uh, right, Tempestus Cylons, or... Yeah, we'll go with that. Just so that way we've got the forces. So yeah, you guys are pretty much destroying... Uh, who's surrounded? No? Oh, it's just bad supply. Uh, that kind of explains a few things. Um, I'll go with advanced conversion factors as well. Because again, we're going to be rolling without some stuff. Right, fantastic. You guys all good? Yeah, okay. Need you back on the front lines. Because I think we've advanced a bit too hectically. And people are starting to struggle. But that's fine, because it's what we're here for. By the way, how is the war going? We have destroyed... Okay, so we've suffered 13k, they've suffered 78k. They have half the divisions, probably less than half, of what they originally started out with. I'm simply just advancing. Um, we'll go then. Right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
You push down, push along to the flanks. You keep push there. Go. Just attack. There we go. So, why that was difficult for you, I don't know, but it's fine. Right, so you, you're good? Yeah, fantastic. Okay, oh shit. <laughs> well, shit, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, you can stop attacking. Right, okay, we're gonna have to reorganize our attack formations. Right, your job will be to push towards, uh, there. Your job will be to attack towards Cairo, I'd say. Yeah, Alexandria, yeah, towards Cairo. Your job, once you've assigned yourselves adequately. This is, truth be told, actually, I probably should change that, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. Right, never mind. The bigger division will get the bigger job. I mean, I know I've got custodies, but still. Right, that's accomplishable for a smaller division. So your job is into instead... You know what? Just get yourselves to the front line. Don't attack. Just get your asses over there. So, you want to go over to that middle section, game? Okay, there you go. It's going to say, boys. It's a little confusing as to why you decided to go that way, but eh. Right, anyway, let's um, increase our ship like that. Right, so if you want to now make your way towards Babylon. Right, well, Persia is not a problem because we can deal with that. Oh, Jesus Christ, some of these guys have been fucking annihilated. Right. Push your way up there and destroy all their forces there. Go. You guys can just push. I'll let the other guys replenish themselves a bit. Why aren't you going? Well, go, you plebs. Right, cool. Just hold position. Don't do anything fancy. Aragon Enclave declared war on the... Well, they're fucked, aren't they? And that just means Pan Pacific has got a larger portion of territory. Yeah. Alright, so what will... Who's very low? Oh, you muppets. Why did you let yourselves get surrounded like that? Oh, they're down for. They're not even going to get to them, are you? No. Too late. You fucking muppets. Well, that was a complete waste of troops. I didn't even... I just told them not even to fucking advance. I just told them to stop. Stop. A stop. A stop. That's all I ask. That's all I'm asking. You don't have to do anything, AI. Just stop. Stop attacking. And, you know, finish your battle. You stupid muppets. And now we've lost, had unnecessary casualties because the game thought, Oh, this attack somewhere. You fucking retards. Oh, that's not fair. Well, guess what? I wanted to avoid the war with you wankers. Yeah, on the double if you can. How close are you to capitulating? You've joined on their side as well. That's ridiculous. Oh, wait. So, seriously? It's merged? Ah. Oh. Right. Yeah, fuck it. You guys push. Just push that way. I really is bad, I know, but it doesn't matter. Just push. The good news is that the Custodies are pretty damn good at fighting. Uh, right. 
Right, we have one division of tanks being prepared. And we'll try and build some infantry units around here. We have to win the war quickly now. It fucking sucks. The quicker we can win this war, the better. Right. Have we stabilized the front line yet? Uh, da, 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 da. So we're going to have to do that. Right, if we can win this war quickly against the um, the remaining uh, Academy and Empire, which only has like four, six divisions left, so we can win this war, which is a good thing. It's just I really didn't want to have to worry about that. Right, I think we stopped their attack as well, which is a blessing. Um... Industry. Boom. That's gonna give us. We're just gonna give us some resources as well, which is gonna be nice. Right, you guys. The issue is now we've got a split front line. Front line, which I'm not liking, but there's nothing we can do about that. We're pushing. Is the only thing I can say. Who is fucking surrounded? Oh, would you look at that? Numpty fucking skull number twine. Push. Just push. All I ask enemy keep fucking advance. Right. You. This front line. You. This front line. Go. My, you lot. Keep pushing. There we go. Right, you guys. I want you to research so we can get I don't really want to consider getting a new gun for the time being. Uh, not unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, okay, we need to get this then. Uh, for you, I would say it is about time we considered... Can I upgrade you? Yes, I can. Fucking glorious. Right, what can I do here? Military High Command. There isn't really anything useful here at the moment. At least not for us. Because these units are fucking out of supply, which is really bad. Right, good. I'll delete that fucking unit. There we go. Right, so now that should work. Hey, Europe declared war on France. What a surprise. Uh, right, you guys... Your job is to hold as best as you fucking can. I know you guys are fairly low on supplies, which is annoying as shit. Cut the fucker off. Right, where's my, where are my troops being supplied to? Where? April. Can you hold till April? I'd like for you to get more, but yeah. How long would you surrender, fuckwit? Five divisions left they have. That's all they have. Charge towards their capital. That will make them surrender faster, I'm sure of it. Even if you get slightly cut off, capturing their castle is going to probably be the biggest win of the day. Come on, come on. Come on, grab the capital. Yes, good. Yes! Fucking glorious. Oh! Right, about face, engage. Right, you push down south. You push down into that territory. Oh, shit, never mind. Hold.
This will take some time, unfortunately, but if we can just about hold on, that'll make my life a lot easier. No, no five divisions. All of you need to remain on the top. Your job will be to try and defend against these wankers who are just waltzing into our territory. Reinforcements are on their way. Just hold on in there. Right, where are the deployments being found? Yeah. How long do you arrive? July, fucking hell. Oh, come on. Hurry the fuck up. Get to the front lines. into our northern territories as well, right. Uh, I really don't like these pan-specific assholes. Right. Oh, yeah, we don't have full control, which sucks. Um... Right, we are at least increasing our population's uh, strength, and I think finally those two groups of soldiers have finally been caught out, which is great, because we can now dedicate full resources towards fighting the remnants of... Once we get those five extra divisions, or eight divisions now, um, we'll be able to start fully attacking. We just need supplies. Push back to here. Go. Right. Push through. Don't let those fuckers through. Oh, you blessed angels, you. Right. Get the front line. You lads. Right. Your job is to try and stop these fuckers. Right. You lads. Right. Fantastic. Unfortunately, they've just capitulated, which means they have a fuckload more terrain into our lines, which is bad. How much, how, how much dudes do you have? 62. It would be really helpful if you could jump in. Fuck the Pan Pacific Empire. I'd like to see them slightly nerfed, only because I've done no nothing towards Pan Pacific, and yet I'm feeling like every game I have to either... I have to go for the Pan Pacific Empire in order to actually win, the, in order to feel like I have a chance. Like, if I had focused once again pushing towards the east, I probably would have been fine to... Like, I think probably... Alright, we need to link up our territories. Yeah, so we'll try and sort of fight this war as best as we can. But at the moment, the issue is the enemy have just gotten a fuckload more terrain than I have. And they could just simply march around our turf without any worry because I didn't focus on... 
I focused on going west rather than going east. And I think a good update for this mod would be to allow the pan to not make the Pan Pacifics the biggest threat to you. Because at the moment, the only way you can really effectively play um, this particular thing is you have to either pray to the God Emperor you can get this shit done before that. Then you have to turn around to the east and focus on attacking the Pan Pacific. Because even on here, you have go east and then you can either go... Oh, Lord shit. Yeah, so then you get that. But you think you have to you have to go east before you can go west. And I kind of find that a bit annoying, especially since there's no other way of dealing with it. Because the Pan Pacific starts out with a humongous advantage. Um, they've get a they've got Japan, they've got China, they've got most of everything else. So it's kind of it would be nice if for the argument's sake you had um, though truth be told, I'm pretty impressed with that. Forty three thousand already. Nice. Um but yeah, that's just my own personal gripe with it comes to this campaign. Annoyingly, we... Yeah. But still, it's... Right, judge. Because we still need to somehow win this thing. Unless... Hang on, i got an idea. Change that. Instead, push north here. Cut them off. And then... Your job will be to push here and push that way. Your job will be to hold them off as best as you can, stop them from breaching through the northern territories, which I think is mm, possibly achievable. I fully realize that we are in the shit right now with reinforcements. Annoyingly, these fuckers have that really... This area is really awkward to fight over at the moment. Just taking more and more of our fucking territory. Where do we need... Re well, where do... I think Air Force here would probably be useful. Right. Yeah, we'll probably go with that. Right, start pushing up north if you can. Annoyingly, there's a lot of terrain that gives them the defensive advantage, whereas we have to struggle a bit. That's okay. We're going to get our own tank division in a minute. So, we just are training them up now. I'll assign them over to the... Est um, I'll assign them over to these guys. Um, and hopefully, it'll mean that they have a chance. 30th of July... some more fuel refineries just so we can prepare for them. Right, so they've taken a shitload of terrain, which is bad. But we beat them back slowly. are all fucking half dead as well which is bad um, at least you guys have got a chance of doing something right yeah so we're wrapping up the, I think I'll wrap the series up a bit here because I think we've we've kind of pushed this a bit enough and now it's going to be the same issue we had last time where we're just going to be fighting this massive fucking war against um, the Pan Pacific. So, I like this mod a lot. I think it would be pretty awesome 
And now, I, um, I I think it's a good time to sort of end it there. But yeah, no, I like this mod a lot. It's got a good potential. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of other features will come in. For example, what kind of factions are we going to have when we actually go to the underside of the world? Well, that's so well, you know what I mean. Um, the uh, watery section. So I, I don't know. I'd like to see this. I think this mod is really awesome. I definitely will give it another bash at some point in the future once we get more features. And yeah, I hope to see you guys there as well. Thank you for watching this little series with me. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What you think of this mod, if you're a 40k fan. Um, if you sort of agree that the Panther Specific could do with a slight nerf. Not like a major one, but just make it so that they're not super quick to be able to be the big thing you have to focus on as Imperium. Obviously, also, you can play other factions. You can play as the Chaos Forces in the north. You could go Abalon here and perhaps win the day. Who knows? Maybe stuff will work out for you. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this little playthrough. And I will see you on the next one. This is Misty Yeager signing out.